Welcome to Grayon Map. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a rectangle. And this rectangle uh, inside has a line which is uh, which defines a 45 square unit triangle. And uh, outside this uh, uh, rectangle, the line inside that defines the 45 square unit triangle is extended towards uh, outside of the triangle and also from this point uh, extended upward to form a right triangle and same with this uh, this line is extended outward this uh, rectangle to form a smaller triangle with uh, 5 square unit area and we are to find the area of the rectangle okay so first thing that we need to do is we need to uh, label this the lengths okay so this is the, the hypotenuse of the three triangles this uh, the first one so let's call this as a and let's call this as b because this length is actually common to all uh, triangles that's why we will use this uh, a b and c okay so uh, how do we attack this problem we attack this problem by expressing the lengths b and c in terms of a so so b is how many times of a so let's uh, make this as x times a how many times of a is b uh, notice that b is longer than a so uh, x is actually a value that we make that we need to multiply to uh, a to make b so same with c uh, c is actually greater than a by a certain value and let's call this as y y a okay so since we need to know the value of x for a uh, comparison between a and b uh, we use these two areas this 5 square unit area and the 45 square unit area so we have so uh, I have actually a video about this area scale factor. Uh, I'll write the link is in the description so you can um, so you can have an idea of how to use this. So in the, our case, uh, the area uh, let's say uh, let's uh, say that it is five as given. So let's write the formula first so we have area one or area a over area b is equal to uh, a over b square so the ratio of the area is equal to the uh, square of the ratio of the length so for a and b we have here 5 over 45 is equal to a over b so this becomes 1 over 9 and this is square so if we take the square root of both sides we have one third is equal to a over b so a is equal to uh, one third of b or b is equal to 3a okay so next is we compare this uh five square unit triangle against this uh, big triangle with the five square unit triangle the uh, the 20 square unit triangle that portion uh in this blue region it comprises the uh, biggest triangle which i have shaded the green shaded 
uh, right triangle. Okay, so next is we compare this uh, five square unit triangle against this uh, big triangle with the five square unit triangle, the uh, the twenty square unit triangle that portion uh, in this blue region. It comprises the uh, biggest triangle which I have shaded the green shaded uh, right triangle. Okay, again for the area. So we have this small, the five square unit triangle, so that will be five all over the unknown area, which is the area of this uh, triangle, is equal to. The corresponding length for this small unit triangle is A, given to be A. So that is A. So for the biggest triangle, it is uh, A. This uh, actually includes this whole line. We will use this because this is the corresponding length for the bigger triangle. So that is actually A plus 3A plus 2a okay and we need to square this okay but actually we can actually factor this out so 5 over area t equal to uh, a times a times 1 plus 3 plus 2 okay but you need to square this but we cancel this a and a so squared, so this becomes 5 over 80. Or area of the triangle is equal to um, 1 over 6. Okay. Because this becomes 6. But you need to square this. Okay. So uh, if we continue, we have 5 over area T, area of the triangle equal to 1 over 36 okay so if we cross multiply we have area t is equal to 36 times 5 so area of the triangle is equal to uh, 36 times 5 that will give us 180 square units Okay, so now we are now ready to find the area of the rectangle. And the area of the rectangle is actually, so let us label this as area of this rectangle is equal to, it is actually the area of the triangle. So area of the triangle. But you, we need to subtract these two areas. Okay. So we'll get this area of the pentagon inside. So subtract this 5 and this 20 square unit triangle. So minus 5, minus 20. But we need to add this to the pentagon, this 45 square unit triangle, this right triangle. So that will be plus 45. So but the area of the triangle is actually 180 as we have calculated earlier so this becomes 180 minus 5 minus 20 plus 45 and this gives us uh, area of the rectangle is equal to uh, 200 square units and that is our answer. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you liked our solution. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. So you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.